Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be trading again with Paul Corruption. And over here, I have a very powerful strategy to show you guys. It's actually one of my OTC strategy that I've been using for at least a week now. And this strategy has made me over $10,000 in profit. It's a very low risk strategy on Paul Corruption. So on today's video, I'm going to show you perfectly how to make use of this strategy on Paul Corruption. So over here, we are making use of three indicator. The first indicator we are using is called um, Super Trend. The second indicator is Ketnel Channel. And the last indicator I use is CCI. And this is the setup of my Super Trend. On the act period right here, I use it as eight. On the multiplier is three. The styles over here, I take my line to be on two pixel. Of course, leave the color as red and green. All right, so when you're done, you hit save. The second indicator I use is called um, Ketnet Channel with EMA period of 11. The add period is 6. The multiplier is 1. On my styles here, the top line is a green. The middle line is white. The bottom is um, yellow white. The background is white. I also make sure I take all my line right there to be on 2 pixels. So that's pretty much all you have to do. So when you're done, you hit save. The last indicator I use is CCI and with a period of 13. On the styles over here, those are the color I use and I make sure I take all the lines to be on top pixel. So that's pretty much all you have to do. So when you're done, you hit save. And this strategy, it's a one minute strategy and I'm 15 second candle time frame. I'm also using it with an Henneke Ashi candlestick. Do not forget that. Um, the strategy will work better on a lower time frame. So I'm using it on 15 seconds. All right. Um, right now, I'm going to put up my currency pair up. Like I said, I'm using this on OTC market, but actually work with a regular market, but it works better on OTC market. It's actually an OTC strategy. All right. So right now, we're putting up my currency pair up, analyzing the market. And when I get a good moment, I'm going to come down and enter a trade. And of course, I'm going to explain in details what you need to see before you enter any of the trade. All right. Okay, guys, over here, I'm actually um, seeing a good moment for a downtrend. But it's something I'm waiting for. So until I confirm that I'm not going to enter a trade, I'm actually okay. It actually happened right here. This is actually a good confirmation. I'm going to enter a trade on this um, real quick. I'm over here. I'm going to explain in details how this strategy works. So let me grab um, my tool right here so that I can actually mark this position out and then explain. All right. Anytime you're going for a downtrend, the number one thing is to make sure that you have your signal with your super trend. And not only that, make sure that the confirmation of a downtrend has happened. What I'm actually waiting for the other time is this curve right here. Anytime you're going for a downtrend, make sure that your super trend line is also giving you a confirmation of a downtrend. And um, the second thing is to make sure that all the line of your Ketnet channel is also giving you the confirmation of a downtrend. Make sure that the green, the white, and the yellow line are all giving you a downtrend confirmation. The last thing is your CCI. Your CCI also need to give you a downtrend confirmation. I think I actually have a good um, sound right there. So let me check. As you can see, we are in the money on that. All right, so let's go back. Um, your CCI to needs to be giving you a confirmation of a downtrend. You need to have this middle line of your CCI giving you a very strong confirmation of a downtrend. It actually makes sense to touch the downline, this red line of the CCI, or actually bridge below it, all right? The most important thing is that all the indicator is giving you a confirmation of a strong downtrend before you enter a trade. The last thing is your candlestick. Make sure that the candlestick you're placing your trade on is very strong. And not only that, the candlestick must be below the um, yellow line of the Ketney channel if you're going for a downtrade. All right, a good one there, guys. Let's keep analyzing. Okay, guys, over here, I'm finding a good moment for an uptrade. I'm going to place a two trade on this um, real quick. Anytime you're going for an uptrade, the same thing needs to happen. All right, you have to have, so let me grab this position. The number one thing is to make sure that you have your signal of your super trend is very important. Make sure that you're having a confirmation of an uptrend right there. We are only placing our trade on a very strong candlestick and the candlestick will actually bridge above your Ketnel channel. All right, it's very important. All right, your CCI also needs to give you a confirmation of an uptrend. You know, the other time we have it, I'm um, giving us a downtrend. I think we have a good moment right there. As you can see, we in the money on that, a good one again so with your sis uh, you need to have a confirmation of an uptrend as well you know the other time we have it giving us a downtrend but this time around since we are going for an uptrend we need to have it to give us a very strong uptrend all right is it how you have it touches the green line 
of the CCI or actually bridge above it. The most important thing is that you, all the indicator is giving you a confirmation of an uptrend. And do not forget that you're only placing your trade on a very strong candlestick and the candlestick will actually bridge above your Ketner channel indicator. All right. A good one there, guys. When the money on that, I think I'll be taking my last trade. Let's keep analyzing. Well, guys, over here, I'm finding a very good moment. So right now, I'm going to place a trade on this one as well. As you can see, this is actually a very perfect moment. The number one thing I usually look out is my candlestick. I do not place my trade on a very weak candlestick. I make sure that I place my trade on a very strong candlestick. It's very important. So make sure that you put that in mind. The second thing is to make sure that all my indicator is giving me a confirmation of a downtrend anytime i'm going for a downtrade it's very important make sure that your super trend confirmation is giving you a downtrend is something applicable with your ketner channel and of course with your cci the most important thing is that you only take a trade when you have your cci very strong in a downtrend so if there's any reversal before you enter a trade do not enter the trade you only take a trade when you see your cci line giving you a very strong confirmation just like what is happening right here all right if there's any call before you enter the trade do not enter the trade make sure that you're placing your trade only on a very strong candlestick all right have a confirmation of all the three candlesticks of your ketner channel there's something applicable with your super trend i hope you understand a good one there guys let me take one more trade okay right here i'm finding another good moment i'm going just for a trade like i said always make sure that the candlestick you're placing your trade on is actually bridged below your Ketner channel. That is very important. Have a confirmation of your CCI and at the same time with your super trend. All right. So guys, let's wait and see if this is going to be a good one. Okay, guys, we actually lost out. And the reason why is very simple. You see that at the end of the day, our CCI actually reversed. So this is what I'm talking the other time. Do not enter the trade if your CCI reverse. Before you enter the trade, make sure that you're having a very strong confirmation with your CCI. But if there's any reverse, I do not enter a trade because any moment the candlestick might reverse. And you know that we are doing this on a very short period of time. Then you should always make sure that you're placing your trade on a very perfect condition. We lost out on that. Let's keep analyzing so that I can make the money back. All right. Okay, guys, over here, I'm finding a good moment for an up trade. Let me place two trade on this. As you can see, um, this signal just print. And it actually makes sense if you're placing your trade when the signal newly generated is very important. And before you enter a trade on a newly generated signal, make sure that the last three candlestick has been very stable. And the one you're placing your trade on is very strong and actually bridge above the Ketner channel is very important, right? So do not forget your CCI, like I said earlier on. For example, I'm not going to enter the trade since it's already curved. But you can actually place your trade um, when it's still very much giving you a strong confirmation of an uptrend so that you can actually lock in the money before there's any reversal, right? Okay, when the money on this one, a good one here, guys, when the money on that. So that is why I'm going to stop on today's video. I hope you actually understand how this works. It's a very, um, very powerful strategy. It works better with smaller um, time frame. So if you want to try it, make sure you try it with 15 or 10 seconds. Or you can actually try it with 30 seconds to see which one that works best. But I've actually tried it and I see that it works better on a smaller candle time frame. All right, so guys, this is where I'm going to stop on today's video. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on my next upload. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next one.